Welcome to the Statistic in DD YouTube channel. Today I want to show you um, a challenge that I encountered in one of my recent projects and how I overcame that. The challenge is linked to um, code, unchanged code breaking because of R package updates and how, um, how to deal with that. So the example code that I have here is a markdown document, a flex dashboard to be exact. So I can knit that. And you see that it knits without an error message or a warning. Um, and I get a dashboard. And the nice thing about this dashboard is supposed to be interactivity, not by Shiny, but using the great Plotly and Crosstalk packages by Carlson Siebert. I have a dedicated video or two videos um, how to do that in more detail um, that are linked in the description. The trick is that I have an overview chart on the left hand side giving some mean values per group and clicking on these dots. And should highlight these groups in the right hand plot, but you see that nothing happens when I click on the dots. So no error message, no warning. Um, the R code doesn't abort, but the interactivity is lost. Um, the same is, happens on this chart. I have some um, control elements on the left hand side, but I can click on them and nothing happens in the right hand side plot, even though um, it was working before and my code was unchanged. So um, a lot of trial and error ensued, and I finally found out that um, the loss of interactivity was linked to a package update. So you see that here I'm using dplyr version 104, um, and it turned out my code was working with dplyr 102. So of course I could have deleted the package and reinstalled the older version, but then I think generally it's a good idea to do updates um, because um, in the majority of cases, of course, updates bring improvements, and I want to keep my R installation and all the packages up to date and rather isolate <coughs> a project and only keep that project running with the state that it was in. So let's see how to do that. I'm switching to a different project with a different setup. So I have the same um, code for the same dashboard, and I run this code. And you see again, I get no error message. The dashboard appears. And now I can click on these dots in the left hand plot, and you see that the groups are highlighted in the right hand side. So, same code, no change to the code, but now the interactivity is there. Um, also, here I have these um, control elements. I can use the slider, I can use these tick boxes, for example. Um, you get the point, it's working now. Um, so, let's check how this project is set up and how I solve this problem. Let's look for the dplyr package and you see that now I have dplyr version 102. So this video is not about blaming dplyr, it's a great package and I plan to use it <laughs> for much longer. Um, and maybe this specific problem will be solved quickly, maybe it's not even dplyr, but maybe it needs to be solved in Plotly or I don't know. But even if this problem is solved, I think the general um, problem that code can break through package updates is valid for a longer time. And here um, it is solved by using the RENF package. So you see I have this uh, RENF um, icon here, um, and I can make a snapshot of my package installation and also restore a library. So um, you see that I have a project-specific um, package folder, RENF. It's quite large. Um, it includes all the packages I'm using in this project, and these um, packages are independent of my general R installation. So here I have um, the deploy version that I want to use and that I know works the way I expected with my project. So this is the way to go. You find that under project options. You can also access this menu project options under tools in our studio. Um, and at the tab environment, um, you can activate this tick mark for using rent with this project. In my first experience now, I've read about it for for some time, but I never actually used it. So my first experience now was very positive. It worked out of the box, and I worked on different machines. And I didn't want to copy this whole folder um, to my um, cloud network. Um, so RENF has a small log file that, or a small file that just um, notes which packages you're using and which version these, um, of these packages. So I just copied that single file, and then on a different computer, I could um, re-establish the project state that I had before and um, install exactly the package versions I wanted and it was working out of the box. A great experience. So I hope you find this useful. Um, 
this is a I think an easier to um, use solution than creating for example a docker image a whole uh, virtual machine for your project so this ramp is um, using RENF is an, an easy solution. I hope you find that useful. All the best for your own projects. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. All the best. See you next time. Ciao.